What's up friends, how's it going? Welcome to this video, my name is Ray. No yoga practice today. I wanna take the opportunity to discuss one of the most basic breathing techniques in yoga and one that is really essential to implement in your asana movement or during your practice on the mat. And that is Ujjayi Pranayama. Now you may have, you may have heard of Ujjayi breathing. It is also known as ocean breath because it sounds like, I guess the crashing of waves or the breeze of an ocean. It simply sounds like this. So basically, imagine yourself fogging a mirror. You're constricting the throat. And I'll explain in more detail later about how to do Ujjayi. It's very simple, but I also wanna explain why it's so important to use while you are moving on the mat. Now you can think of Ujjayi breathing as sort of a prism that you set during your yoga asana. Now yoga essentially means to yoke, right? So it's connecting body and mind. It's connecting with yourself. Yoga is all about connection. And during our asana, the breath is sort of the medium for that connection. You can think of it as the tether between body and mind. That's why it's so important to breathe. Yoga is essentially a moving meditation that is guided through the breath. And the reason why we incorporate ujjayi during asana movement or during our movement on the mat is because it helps to gauge where we stand uh, in the context of our movement. So if we are very much over exerting ourselves, we're going to lose our breath and we are going to be huffing and puffing and we've sort of stepped a little bit beyond our limit. That's not to say that we don't challenge ourselves on our mat, of course we do, but we always maintain a very keen connection with ourselves through our breath by focusing on ujjayi, by focusing on deep inhalations and deep exhalations. So by incorporating ujjayi, we really don't get too much ahead of ourselves and we are always maintaining that real awareness and that connection between body and mind through the breath from the very beginning all the way until Shavasana at the end where we sort of relinquish all control. Now Ujjayi is always done through the nose so I demonstrated it through the mouth but as in all of kind of yoga and when we move we want to really focus on keeping that mouth shut and breathing through the nose. So Ujjayi is done with a closed mouth constricting of the throat and then making that ocean breath sound. So I'll demonstrate it again. So pretty simple. We also want to remember to engage Ujjayi both on the inhalation and the exhalation. So what I see a lot of people doing is taking a normal breath in and then only engaging Ujjayi on the exhalation because it is slightly easier to constrict the throat while you're exhaling. It's a little bit harder while you're inhaling, especially when you're moving in very challenging poses. You really feel like I want to take more air in because I'm tired or this posture is very difficult. And that is the beauty and that is the reason why we engage Ujjayi because we want to control our breath and very much kind of get very focused on that breath and that body and that mind connection. So the benefits of Ujjayi are pretty straightforward. Um, it helps to relax. So while we're in these strenuous poses, we are constricting that breath, we are controlling that breath, and we're helping the body to relax. We're helping the mind to sort of relax. When we are in difficult poses, a lot goes on in our heads. We start to think, I wanna get out of this. Uh, this is very difficult. I can't do this. And by focusing on our breath, that really helps us to kind of move beyond those thoughts and hold those poses for longer and really flow through the sequence in a more efficient and in an easier sort of way. And then there are also benefits of Ujjayi outside of the mat. So I do Ujjayi in normal life when things get a bit stressful, when maybe I'm overwhelmed by things, maybe experiencing a little bit of anxiety or stress, you can simply engage Ujjayi. I mean, if you're sitting at your desk or if you're alone, 
It doesn't have to be very loud so people won't really even tell that you're doing it, but it just helps you come to, you know, if we're in our heads and we are overwhelmed a little bit, focusing on the breath, engaging Ujjayi brings our attention to our breath and out of our heads. So you can incorporate it obviously on the mat, maybe during your yoga practices, you can set an intention at the beginning of class to simply maintain Ujjayi throughout the entire practice. And that is obviously a lot easier said than done. It's very difficult to maintain an entire class with Ujjayi very much engaged over an hour of keeping really steady with Ujjayi. But you'll realize by doing so, you will really take your yoga practice to a whole new level. So that's basically it when it comes to Ujjayi. Very simple, very basic pranayama technique, one that should always be incorporated in your asana movement. If you want, you can give it a shot right now. I have different yoga practices. I'll kind of put a little note up here. I have beginner classes, intermediate, some advanced classes that you can check out and set an intention of maintaining Ujjayi throughout it all and see how you feel at the end. And I promise that you will feel much more connected with yourself and much more at ease in body and mind by really maintaining that breathing throughout your entire practice. So that's it. Um, I think I've said all there is to say about Ujjayi. There are plenty of videos here describing it, maybe in a little bit more depth, but I think it's simple enough and doesn't really require too much of an explanation. So thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, my channel is all about movement, is all about health, um, definitely yoga focused. You can try out various exercises, various body weight workouts, various yoga practices, and yeah, enjoy. Thanks for tuning in again. See you later.